All right, guys, what we got here is a 1989 Kawasaki KR1S, two-stroke, 250. This one was the rarest of the race replicas made it in that era. Cowie just didn't make the numbers uh, that Honda and the other guys made. So this one's the hardest to find and the most valuable if you're collecting. This one is original from when I bought it about four or five years ago. And obviously it's been, you know, it's in, uh, you know, decent condition for what it is. You have to kind of reset your condition meter when you import these things out of Japan. Um, you're going to have a lot of oxidation, you know, no way of really knowing the history on these things. Obviously, it looks like maybe Beat Racing had something to do with it. It's got some pretty cool decals. Somebody put pod, air pods on it and they cut away that fairing there. As you can see, it'll leave the open uh, area to get into the carbs, I gather. And they rehung the uh, exhaust, got rid of the passenger foot pegs. So awesome bikes. Uh, I've never run it from what I know it was. You know, I don't know if it was a running bike when I bought it or not. I, ha I tend to think not because uh, of the condition of the tank and so forth. You know, it's got its fair damage and need of repair and et cetera, et cetera. But I don't mind, you know, obviously it would be great if it was mint, uh, but you know, you gotta, you get what you pay for in many cases. And uh, you know, this one, uh, it could be a runner in no time and look very cool and, you know, touch up some of these weak points and just hold things together. And, you know, I could, I can patch this, clean the windshield up, just get that uh, functional and sit and kind of secure go through the tank, I'll clean up the tank and uh, clean those uh, pod carburetors up and we'll have a run and bike in, in pretty little time. Someone obviously polished the swing arm at some point. It looks like an original KR swing arm, but it does not look, uh, I think they were painted originally and uh, polished these forks. Again, I think those may have been painted too. These look like they should be original forks, I think. The uh, R here, Somebody put upside down forks on it and a carbon fiber front fender, as you can see. That's the more rare R, 89R, about 130 of those made. And then an even more rare, supposedly, 1990R, which is in excellent condition in comparison. Um, so this is kind of the, the best one of the group. And the rarest, apparently, like I said, only 50, which is kind of mind-boggling. I think I just got dumb lucky at one time when I was looking for these things in Japan. But um, I'm going to see what I can do to get her up and running, and we'll go from there. But uh, just wanted to show you guys this thing, and uh, I may consider selling it. I'm asking 12000 kind of as is. As I go, it's probably going to go up in price. Whatever I spend on it and some time, I'll have to add to the price. But um, they're so hard to find. You know, anybody that knows about them can appreciate kind of the price and stuff. But... Uh, you know, a lot of guys kind of make offers or have had offers on them before and they just don't kind of get the uh, the rarity of them and uh, the difficulty of finding them and, and importing them, especially now after COVID and all that. Prices have gone through the roof in terms of finding stuff and bringing it over. Anyway, I'll give you an update as things progress. Talk to you later.